T cell can kill a tumor cell that's resistant to chemotherapy. That's called non-cross resistance. They kill in a very different way than chemotherapy does. Um, the, the problem is, is that you know, there are no T cell based adoptive therapies that are FDA approved. So this is a transfusion therapy where you have to take a patient's cells out, grow them, modify them in the synthetic ways we'll talk about, and then give them back to patients. That's been, uh, people have had these ideas for more than 20 years, but they haven't ever made it uh, to uh, uh, FDA approval. I think we're getting close. Um, so the general approach of this kind of CAR therapy is shown here. In a way, it's a, a blood transfusion, and it's like a bone marrow transplant. So basically, a patient donates their cells by, uh, from the, uh, a blood transfusion of the blood bank. They're then manufactured in several ways, and you'll hear we each have different twists on that, but the same thing happens in that this CAR construct goes into the T cell, and it then stays there permanently. Then the cells are grown for a period of time in the lab, about 10 days, and then given back to the patient as a simple blood transfusion. So that's, um, that's, that's from a process. Um, and the issues on this is really different than what the pharmaceutical industry does, where they make one drug that treats all. These are customized, you know, patient-specific vaccines, which meant there was a market failure here. That the, because of the disappointing history, the, the, in the, the biotechnology industry wouldn't invest in it. They thought it was a waste of time. So we reported um, from the Alliance Cancer Gene Therapy trial that we we were funded in 2004. We treated our first patient in. Uh, um, July of 2010, and then in August 2011, the first three patients were reported. And um, all three patients had had, um, sorry, incurable late stage advanced leukemia with huge amounts of tumor, three to seven pounds of tumor in each patient. What we found was that each patient responded, um, and that you know, each of these infused CAR cells could kill about 1,000 tumor cells because we could calculate how many tumor cells the patients had. Um, and we now know these remissions are durable, so the first two patients that had complete remissions remain in complete remission. They haven't had any further therapy now, uh, three years later.